So let's do a storm drain today. Hmm. So uh, storm drain is gonna set off with the uh, sanitary pipe. Let's see. We are gonna go to the second floor. <clears throat> see if we can get us a view. Domestic hot water. We need to change that system to sanitary or a storm drain. It's probably gonna be storm drain. But it came from the sanitary. We just made a copy of it. So looks like our pipe segment is going to be what are we using? PVC. But of course, your mileage will vary. You could use cast iron. You could use PVC. Whatever the engineer wants to use these days. So the different types of pipes it looks like. So there's PVC. I'm using PVC because it just seems to to work better with Revit. Revit seems to to be a lot not lot it likes plastic for some reason. But you can use you know iron, you can use carbon, so you can use whatever, but for the purpose of the demonstrations, I'm gonna stick with the um, PVC pipe. So we can have a good time doing this kind of work for all who care to indulge. See the different sizes. So you, these are the different pipe types, you know, different fittings, and all all of this can change. Whatever the engineer wants, the, the engineer gets. But I'm using PVC just for the purposes of the video. The video that we're gonna see today. So, so now <clears throat> these systems are how we'll say annotation type, color, abbreviation that's gonna go on the drawing, the color is gonna go on the drawing, and these are the systems. You know, you got hot water systems, we're using sanitary system but I made a copy of it just to call it storm system because engineer or someone will come along and they're looking at your drawing and say, what kind of system is that, dude? And you tell them that's a piping system, hot water, cold water, drain, you know, um, uh, storm drain, copper, these are the pipe types, right? So I need to rename that, it looks like. So I got the system first, you see that? Mistake! Oh, you get a demerit. Uh, you need to change that. You need to change that. So change it where there are pipe types. You see types. Type of pipe. Copper pipe. PVC pipe. Steel pipe. Uh, cast iron pipe. Whatever you're going to use. Just make a copy or a duplicate in this. In the case of, in the case of the the master Revit. Just change that to those types of pipes you got system pipes right your systems are going to be how it looks on the drawing or the type of system that's going through the pipe so we got pvc so type pipe you see so it's going to be the type of pipe correct the mundo right okay so this is so we're just setting up all of our i don't know i guess you could call them parameters <clears throat> so we just have a good roadmap, man. We just we just making sure making sure before we go on this road trip <laughs> before we go on this road trip that we got um uh our belongings. So we got our storm pipe, right? Our system is storm, right? And so we know that it's going to be, before we even drew that, we know it's going to be yellow, right? That's our properties, and it's a four inch <clears throat> storm drain. We got a storm drain, right? And I'm using PVC, and of course, you can use whatever. Whatever your pipe, PVC cast iron usually you use cast iron when you use storm drain so usually i'm not gonna say all the time i shouldn't say all the time 
much never say all of the time because the engineer will come along or whoever will say all the time and all the time is not all the time so now we're going to what are we doing how many times do i have to check this oh i'm going the system the system are, and the sanitary is different that's why i was duplicated so the type you always when you first get your project the template rather gives you is the sanitary so i just made a copy i just pointed that out to you guys just in case somebody say hey, dude what you doing so yeah so that type all right pipe types oh where are we where are, what am i doing oh i'm in systems okay so okay <laughs> so we in systems so i think we can get out of that now so we can move on let's 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 move on so we get another one and it's the same thing so i'm just checking the system so we make a duplicate of it call it hot water right so hot water is going to be the be the so system classification is going to be sanitary storm is going to be the system is going to be sanitary yeah and so there's basically hot water system coat what sanitary system water system you know i mean it's, it's revit gives you three or four different systems so you just make duplicates of those i have a vent system in there so i'm using my storm system copy it or made a duplicate of it from the sanitary system okay now can we please move on dude let's move on let's move on okay so are we going up to the roof now thank you jeez man and gee, it took all that time just to go over some systems and pipe types who cares i know we all care right but so now we're on the roof or get into the roof right so that is nine let's make that nine right and we draw our line okay so our detail line from the center let's say the center of the pipe down to the floor should be nine so let's take a measure and see down to the floor the where we all started for right so that's nine from the second floor so we're going to go up to the roof the roof the roof is on fire okay let's move it let's move it there's all kinds of way to move it but just for the just because of this video and starting off with revit those of you who have been using or still using autocad or just beginning to use Revit. There is so many ways to use this program. And I know that there are some of you who uh, are just starting out. So second floor. So I wanna go to a plan view. So I'm gonna go to the parapet. Looks like it's above the roof. So if we go to parapet, we should be able to see that pipe. And there it is, magically. How did that happen? Hmm. Hmm. I think we all know how. So now we're gonna let's get it down to because the pipe is not gonna gonna be above the roof, right? So we need to put it down under. So we can make a choice. So what am I doing? I'm getting rid of my my sections so i don't like a, i don't like a lot of sections but it's entirely up to you entirely it just seems to clutter a lot of stuff and when drawings get to be 18 35 sections it can be a, a little overwhelming so i try to keep my sections at a minimum 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 how many do I have? I got one, two, I have what, three sections? And look how much drawing I have. Very little drawing. So sections can be, they can accumulate very, very, very 
very fast. So, what am I doing? Drawing. So I think what it looks like. I'm gonna draw my roof drain just to get it on the drawing. But for the next time when we get together, whoever wants to see this video regarding Revit and storm drain and sizing types what else do we have systems so i'm gonna put a roof drain on that or just put it on the roof i just wanted to get the pipe started you know you know what i mean see ya